Say have fun in your podcast. Say I love you. Because Frank made me do it again, I would say, hey, 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 nigga rockin' podcast coming at you. I 70 Connect. I am the KC Stork. I'm my homeboy up at the picket 30 piece of AG. We're not doing check ins right now, so I'm not saying, how you doing, homeboy? We got the motherfucking Brothers of Doom, James Jeff. Yo. Yes, sir. I did say James Jeff. Y- you sure did. The James, 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 I'm going to say it as one. I'm going to say it as right. one. James, there we go. And as always, come alive and direct. That nigga so close, we call him 10 meters. What's going on, man? What's up, man? This is 10 meters. 10 meters, live and direct. No check-in. End of the year review, we're going to cover some good moments. Maybe not so good moments to some of the fans out there. But there are moments that we have had here on the show. So back to you, thirty pieces of AG. What's going? Not what's going on, but take it over. So welcome to the award uh, ear and review award show for the Nicaraguan podcast. This hopefully will be an, an annual thing, but this is the first ever. So thank you for joining us. Um, so we do have like like the uh, like the Casey Stork said, we do have seven categories. Uh, everybody what? contributed, and so everybody contributed to the show. And we narrowed it down to seven categories, and we have um, the nominees within each category. Not every category is going to have an audio because we did that. We did predetermined that um, in the pregame. Um, so we'll start off with every every person on this show that is on recording right now will have a category, um, and we're going to lead off with um, two of the categories that don't have audio. And but we're gonna have say the nominations and maybe talk a little bit about it and then present the winner. And so to start uh-huh. everything, is this bird box? My screen just went black. We're not supposed to look at anything. I got uh-huh. it, man. Let's pull it up. I've got it. I got it too. It might be me then. Hold on. Yeah, your shit fucked up, nigga. But is it? But me in, in the same house. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> so do you have RAM? <laughs> do you have ROM? I have all the RAM. So, so right now we have. Um, so right now the first category, um, and, and is going to be the, is going to be introduced by Joe Jeff, one of the the, the, the brothers of Doom or whatnot. So <laughs> take it, take it, Joe. What's going on? Kicking it to you. Well, welcome everybody to the first annual Nicaraguan Podcast <laughs> Award Show. <laughs> I will be bringing to you not so great moments in white privilege. Boo! <laughs> man, <laughs> y'all niggas hate me. <laughs> moments in white privilege. Right. So uh, anyway, what we got is uh, three three instances in where we've seen white folks in in, in our global community do the most. And, uh, and and basically abuse their privilege. So the first one, uh, if you go all the way back to episode 39, um, one of the episodes we saw where uh, white privilege took place, you had H&M had basically uh, posted a new T-shirt, and that T-shirt uh, basically had a little black child in it, and the child's T-shirt said that he was, what did he say, the, the, the greatest monkey in the jungle? Is that what it said? I think so. Bravest yeah. monkey in the 
Toughest monkey in the jungle, some shit. Yeah, something like the best monkey in the jungle. Yeah, so we 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 spent a few minutes on that, Roger and I, discussing how uh, I think that that might have been the origin of the old nigga who who jumped up and said, "That ain't what you want to do. That ain't a good idea." <laughs> that that, 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 that might have been where that originated from. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, that oh, nigga's 5'10". <laughs> <ten. laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. In that same episode, we also discussed um, we also discussed this youth basketball team uh, known as the Wet Dream Team out of Ohio. Basically, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a youth rec team. And uh, so what happened in that episode is you had these, these kids, it's a group of white kids, who basically had their jerseys made up to uh, to have different little racial epithets on the back of their jersey. Uh, I don't know, somebody on the back of their jersey was Lil Nigga Jim or you know, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking coon or something. I, I don't remember what I don't remember what they had on the back of it, but it was it was completely offensive. Uh, so that was that was uh, episode thirty nine. If you get a chance to go back, check it out. Um, the second nominee. But not so uh, great moments in white privilege uh, was from episode 44, uh, and this was about a mother who left her kids at home and didn't travel across the street, didn't tra- travel across town. She, this this bitch went to Europe. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, oh, this bitch <laughs> didn't t- didn't tell her uh, didn't tell the baby daddy. <laughs> The thirteen-year-old had had a call over to dad like, "Hey, we ain't got no money to eat. No, we ain't got no food right here. Where your mom at? In Germany." <laughs> 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 so that was awesome. Germany, uh, California? <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and Frank has moved the screen, so I can't read the third one. But I'm oh, here we go. Here we go now. Uh, our third nominee is a well-known one. Uh, it was it was the young men who went into Starbucks to uh, have a meeting, decided to use the restroom, and, and they decided this basically this one uh, pretty much kicked off all the uh, the unwarranted police calls that happened in 2018. So this is kind of a legacy of the war. We're gonna wrap, wrap all those unwarranted police calls. Call the police because black men wanted to use the restroom. So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, anybody want to uh, talk about any of these and they kind of expound upon what, what impressions they made on you? Yeah, first of all, niggas can't use the restroom anymore in no damn Starbucks. No, hold on. I want, I want, I, I'm, I'm a, very briefly, I think it was those niggas were just sitting there and they had an Yeah, we're, conf- we're confusing two different incidents. Uh, oh, and the winner is? The Starbucks incident with the two uh, fellas, they were actually just sitting there waiting mm-hmm. on a, a client to come waiting in. To and come that's in. when the manager came over and wanted them to buy something. They said, well, I will buy something, but I'm waiting on someone. And they said, well, we're calling the police. Then if you're not going to buy anything right now. Dude, they try to they try to go to the restroom too, man. Maybe. I, I don't know. I know for sure that the, the initial thing was... Yeah, the, the yeah, reason got, so- the cops were called, though, was... Because, but there was another incident with with the restroom at Starbucks. There was yeah. another incident that was a, 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 about using the restroom. Here's the thing: it, it's been, I don't it's know been about so. That, there, no, there was. Two. There was. It absolutely here's, here's, was. But here's the sad thing: is there's been so many things where black people have just tried to do random shit, and white people <laughs> say you can't do it. That we get it all mixed up. That's what's like, saying. Like uh, barbecuing in your own house, you can't barbecue. It's your own house, apparently, but, in, in the neighborhood anymore. Can't, you can't, sell, wa- can't sell water on the porch. Hold on. We're going to get oh, sidetracked. We're going to get sidetracked. We're going to get sidetracked. We're going to get sidetracked. Okay, All I'm saying is, yeah, there's so, many, there's so many things niggas can't do that white people can't do freely. So, Joe, right. for the first not-so-great moment in white privilege, with the, including 911 calls nom- nom- category, what is the winner? Frank, you trying to get done quick, nigga. You got somewhere to go? <laughs> we got six more categories. Hold on. Hey, Joe, there, there's literally probably, because you know it's been a, a federal shutdown. There's literally a man <laughs> under cocaine in his basement that needs to get chopped up. We're getting sidetracked again. 
ain't, no, ain't going to chop himself up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we got other categories with actual audio. Come on, fellas. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, all right, man. And Mr. Killjoy wants us to. Go. Where's the drum roll? Where you? Where your little beat machine? <laughs> hey, you know what? That's a good. That's a good. That's a good point, Joe. This nigga got a motherfucking machine with sound effects. He ain't got no drum roll. Nah, Where the fuck that at, man? You slacking in your macking, bro? Not a motherfucking one. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas sound like Coleco Vision right now. So, so backed by popular demand. Oh, nah. Uh, no. we, 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 uh, not, we not bringing everything no, back, no. nigga. Drum roll, please. Mother That's it. It's mother drum roll. No. Got these damn sound effects. Oh, shit. What is it? What sound? Is no reason why the, the sound fucked up. You trying to load this shit up? Was that a dick, a dick to him, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> we're still, oh, we're still waiting on the winner, but okay. I don't know. It's, hey, do, hey, we, this, hey, stop. Move, we can't move, see the winner because... <laughs> I will I will go to my mama's house and find my snare drum. There you go. I think uh well since Frank doesn't want any discussion on anything, he's just he's just gonna go ahead and uh, have you go listen for yourself. So the mother leaving a kid in Europe, I think by far was our winner. So she is the winner. Of the uh, not so great moment in white privilege, and if you want to go listen, that's episode forty four at the I think forty two. Yeah, about forty two minutes in. Forty two minutes in. Forty two went on her quick. I guess that's one of those. I I would also include these into the show notes so that the listeners can go back and review them if they want to. Can't nobody read. No, no, nobody read no more. Nobody wants to read it. <laughs> I mean, we cut everything. I guess we have a low budget cast. Nigga, Frank don't want nobody said nothing outside of what's on the paper, man. <laughs> exactly. Frank, Stick to the script, Frank, niggas. Frank, Frank got that. He he didn't got that 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 motherfucking Donald Trump nudge. He's like, hey, I heard y'all. Yeah, okay, we're going to commercial break now. Oh, oh we're back. We don't want it. We're, we're back with the. Uh, <laughs> Drum roll only. Drum roll only. If you ain't get a drum roll, get, get off the shit. Nigga, what was, nigga, what was that? And, so we and, ain't got time to talk about the topic, but we got time to play bullshit sound effects, though. And, <laughs> and that was the very we'll first... We'll play whatever fucking bullshit we can find, but don't don't talk about the topic we talk about. No. <laughs> don't explain what's going on. What was that, dog? <laughs> if, I, I guess I guess we go into Anthony and the Cooney. All right. Well, uh, next category are the Coonies or the Jig Frankie moving the categories. Oh, okay, there we go. The Coonies uh, or the Jigaboos or Wetbacks that lead the rally in the 45 in general. That's not, yeah, that's, that really is not the description of the Coonies. Okay. Coonies basically is, is who's been a, a, a coon. Who's basically been acting coonish. Right. That's, that's right. what it is, yeah. Yeah, basically acting coonish. Okay. So, the nominees are Kanye West, episode 61, uh, wearing the MAGA hat. Uh, the second nominee is uh, Candace Owens, and also in episode 61, Blexit, Blexit clothing line. And basically, she started shitting on Trump way before, you know, he was uh, elected into the office. And then we have a third nominee, uh, the Latino Coons from episode 64. Uh, Anyone of color that was in that um, interview um, between Beto O'Rourke and, um, oh, who's the one from Texas uh, that won? Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Um, and basically all the ones that was cooning with uh, Ted Cruz. Uh, so do we want to discuss it or we just going to go right to the winner? Uh, I, I mean, I think we need to discuss it, don't we? Um, yeah, I think we need to discuss it. All right. Okay. Uh, well, I mean... I mean, basically... 
Uh, Kanye West speaks for itself. I mean, he's been cooning ever since, you know, um, Obama called him a jackass. Uh, <laughs> so if y'all remember that, uh, you know, a few years ago uh, when Obama was first elected and uh, Kanye West was basically acting an ass uh, in the media. Yeah, but, and then, yeah but, don't, but don't forget, though, Kanye West was, even though uh, George Bush has become this lovable character because he likes black women, uh, namely Michelle Obama, Right. Uh, he was the same one that says that George uh, Bush don't like don't fuck with black people. Yeah, nigga, he, he for the well, culture. Yeah, he. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But, though, he, but he didn't. But he said on the album. He said that shit on. Yeah, he said on national TV. TV. Uh, no, no, no. Inter- I'm sorry. Not national TV. International TV. Matter of fact, that was a moment on our podcast, and we, we reviewed that video. <laughs> When they went back to that, Chris Rock, Chris Rock was like, "What? What?" Chris, Chris Tucker, Chris Tucker, yeah, it's Chris Tucker. My bad, they, I, I take the shit out of that. Chris Tucker, my bad. One of them niggas. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so you know, basically. Um, but Kanye but this West. is for two, 2018, so so that's that's ancient history as far as this award is concerned. No, but, but I'm saying he's he been cooning in, in 2018. Yeah, he has been cooning. I mean, really. 2018, you're right. He has been cooning hard. My bad. Yeah, check oh, out his album. Check out his album. Is he has been cooning and you know wearing a mega hat, <laughs> going to going to the Oval Office, sitting down with Trump, and you he know basically. That, he's trying to get that. He's trying to get that dragon energy though. Yeah. Uh, mm. Well, and that man, don't forget the man energy. The man energy and the dragon energy. Gotcha. Well, well apparently, gotcha. you know, he removed himself from politics now, so I don't know if uh, somebody knocked some sense into him. So, I mean, no, he, no. I don't know no. if he's still nigga, cooling. That nigga, it, nigga, that nigga popped that. He stick, popped that well, like, but, that well, butcher, nigga. Yeah, that was, that's what it was. The oh, he's back on his meds then. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's on his meds. <laughs> okay. That's it. So, I mean, I would say I would say uh, I would want to highlight the, not, the third nominee, Latino Coons, Josue, which was the second generation um, Latino. That was uh, the, the 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 interviewer asked the question about uh, did his parents come come into the country illegally, and he was he basically dropped the dime on his parents. So, well, well, Paul, before before you get there, this this nigga was a tech, tech crew supporter, but was in favor of building a wall. So you got a Mexican, a wall. Second, okay. second generation who uh, Mexican who was like, build that wall. Yeah, mm-hmm. build the wall. Keep the other Mexicans out of here. I'm I'm here, but keep well, other Mexicans away. Time, time to pull the ladder up. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I so, made it. Fuck the mother niggas. So I think we all made a pretty good argument and strong case for all of them. So uh, Anthony, yeah. who who is the winner? And the winner is. And the winner is the Candace Owens back in episode sixty one for Blexit Blexit and her co- her, her shitty ass clothing line. Clothing line, I don't know the clothing line. Yeah, remember? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she, she, she was the one that that, that that gave birth to that whole Blexit thing, but she she uh put uh, Kanye's name on it, which was the uh, the, uh, the the the. Whatever the, the that he was the designer, right? He was the designer. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute! Fuck all of this! <laughs> I didn't. I didn't agree to this shit. And I re- and I could recall Winston. You talked about like it was like a you were like t- going in on the Blexit logo itself that it yeah. looked like. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looked lazy as fuck, dog. <laughs> all right, thank you, like Anthony. You did a wonderful job. job. Yay! Now, now what I gotta all say, right, what I gotta say about this one is that. I didn't want this bitch to win nothing. I didn't want. Her. <laughs> I didn't want her to win no Coney. I don't want to get her flexed. I don't want her. I want her. I want her. I mean, but basically, canceled. we shitted on her though, man. We shitted on her, and yeah, I mean, but, this but, but that, I feel Joe though. That that fucking that that negative press is the same as good press. You know what I'm saying? Right. She don't, she don't need to win. Yeah. She need to be the runner up, nigga. But I mean, oh, I, I, I I go with the will of the majority. But like I said, I, I still maintain this bitch said she was a cold genius with Kanye, <laughs> and I was like, "Where the fuck your mixtape at, nigga? You ain't well, you ain't made not one beat, nigga. Yet. Not one so, beat. She ain't even so go. we all know we all know where Joe's like said, where Joe's opinion lies. So, but no, but like I said though, like like I fuck with it, and I, I fuck with it. But like, the reason why I, I not I mean, it is the fact that this bitch came out of notes like like previous to Trump. Being elected, 
Like a lot of these motherfucking these coons who are who are uh, capitalizing on shaming black folks, they were against the Republican Party. They were against all this racism when that was the, the end thing to be. But now being racist and hating on niggas is the end thing and get you a little bit of coin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these niggas is on it. So yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this won't be the last of it. I'm pretty sure there's gonna no, be other no, ones. Niggas, oh. As long as there's niggas, as long as there's white folks, there'll be yeah. niggas who will cater to white folks who love shitting on niggas. I'll be the first to say I, that I, in I 20... Think it will be the year of hating I, I, I just don't know how Kanye doesn't win 2018 with this nigga said slavery was a choice, and then he went up in the White well, House, hugged well, him. All right, hold on. And let's, said, let's, oh, they, and we, all right. And well, said, let's and not mute we, anybody we, right we now. The hold on. Second Amendment twice, nigga. Hold on. Hold on, twice, on so. <laughs> Even when you said that, though, you gave a little reference to like I could, I I see where he's coming from. Yeah, yes, <laughs> you, you did. That, you. Hey, no, I did not see where he's coming on about the Second Amendment, nigga. I said I know uh, what he was trying to say. Viewers, listeners, he ain't right. <laughs> L- l- listeners, go back and listen to all the episodes in 2018, and you'll find Joe's opinion. And we're gonna go on to no, the next no, category. No, but, but I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that shit, you, Joe. I, I agree, but I'm what? saying that. This nigga is, I, well, he is like, I think he's one of them niggas that's like, I just want to, I do this one thing great. I'm in the studio making music. All right. We, we got and, a winner, then, guys. Just, Come on. Okay. I, I hear you, Frank. <laughs> well, I hear you. But, but this, but then this woman, this, it ain't got to be a woman. This mother, whoever, male or woman, who is a little smarter than this nigga, and they have mm-hmm. like, oh, you, 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 I, you like me? I like you too. Hey, let's go talk to Master Trump. And they pulled this nigga into that shit, dog. That's yeah. what she did. Cause like yeah. I, me- I remember the episode where you was like, "Who's talking to this nigga?" Yeah. yeah. This? And we come <laughs> and find out that the whole time it's this bitch. It's like yeah, it, it, it was like it was like, it was like in three strange. episodes. The puppet master. It's like in three episodes you saw <laughs> hey, Joe's hey, progression. Hey, Joe, you you the one you the one that sold me on the fact that she should win. Yeah. You don't even realize it. You you kept saying, "Who's this bitch?" Yeah. <laughs> It was like a three it was like a three episode progression of your your anger against against her and Kanye. That by the time of the third episode came around, you were like, "Man, fuck this bitch!" And you literally, I think you literally took got off the line. Yeah, you took her into, into the winner. I, I, I felt like Joe knew who Kansas was, but he wanted us to real like to fully embrace it. Uh, I'm, I'm the chess master out here. I'm two two three steps ahead of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Jedi mindset. I don't want her to be the the winner. The I don't want her to be the winner, but, but I really I, do. Hey, I do. I do. I, 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 hey, hey, I didn't want you and James on here for no reason. All right, so, and that would be when we said let's not give him more any any more play airtime. Let's go on to the next uh, next category. And for the listeners, the, the next category uh, has audio, and this one was not predetermined. So we're gonna determine the winner live. As we listen to it, okay? Hey, hey, hold on. Peak game, though. Y'all realize that the first one that has audio is the one that Frank's introducing. Mm-hmm. Of course it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. wow. Not a coincidence. Not keep, your third eye, keep your third eye open. Stay woke. Preach, brother. Preach, brother. And with that being said, we introduced the third category of this year's the, the award, uh, the Nicaraguan Ear Review Award Show with the third category being the great debaters. And this category stemmed from uh, something that uh, offline conversation that Joe has always mentioned. Um, but this is what's going to kick it all off. And with the first first nominations, we have uh, the in episode 52, Gardner and the Dud Sea, around the 50, 46 minute. And we have the first audio. That, that's all great, but until all the motherfuckers start holding each other accountable, yeah, just like just like it's on my black ass to make sure all my the young black youth pull their pants up for some odd reason. Y'all got to make sure these motherfuckers stop motherfucking harassing people. Ain't my job, dog. Like I, I keep saying, ain't my job to fix racism and broken motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, I mean. It's 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 incumbent upon all of us. I mean, I think uh, the the purpose of this podcast is to educate, man. You know, what I'm saying people who people who wouldn't come in contact with people like you and me and, and Frank, 
uh, get an opportunity to listen to our viewpoints, and they can take them, they can leave them. Well, that, but, you know, that's what I'm saying though. Like I can educate and tell you and show you that we just we all just human beings, whatever. <clears throat> but it's not my job to go out of my way to fix you as a person. Happened was, and that was the first. Nominee. Now this nom the second nominee nation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's let's, let's digest one and then go to the next one, man. <laughs> All right. So, so so uh anybody I I'll go I'll kick it off. Uh so basically on that episode I think uh we were discussing about what to do about racism. Um I think Frank had a had a nephew or something like that who had a MAGA hat. And um, you know, he was kind of deciding how he should approach that situation. And Roger had dealt with situations where he had family members hey, that were, uh, white. Hey, I mean, you, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to like video. Cause some reason I'm getting a poor network connection. Mm -hmm. Turn my video off. There we go. Okay. My bad. Yeah. But like, uh, so again, you know, we were discussing how to deal with racism and I think it was, a uh, what I would say about the whole category is that we do a lot of foolishness, Mm -hmm. And we, we, we tell jokes and we get we get crazy a little bit, but you know, I think every once in a while we have some time where we really trying to each one teach one and, and I think that's what this category is about and I think that discussion was a key example of, you know, trying to talk about how we can reach out and maybe figure out what to do about the whole racial program as a problem as a community. So I thought it was a pretty good episode. Right. No, I mean and, and to piggyback on Joe, I think I think I really liked it because I think sometimes like now, sometimes we all check each other as far as, like, we all come into this uh, podcast. We have, I think we all have an idea of as far as, like, where we want to go as far as, like, men, men of color, black men, brown men, how the fuck we see ourselves. So we all want to reach the same destination, but we all want to get there as far as, like, different avenues. And we all, but what I love is we hold each other accountable. So it's like me and Joe on that podcast trying to hold each other accountable and I think, and Joe did a good thing as far as like sometimes we all get frustrated, with the, especially with the current climate, and Joe just saying, hey, if you want to get to that end goal, just us five motherfuckers on this podcast talking to each other ain't going to do it. It's going to have to be some white motherfuckers who got to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think Joe did a good job as far as like, and, 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 and true, I, I bucked. And today, I agree with Joe as far as like, we have to like, nourish that seed no matter how much we got to till and nurture the land and plow and all that shit like that we do got to do that so i think and, and, and it was a good debate I mean, not, not it wasn't even debate it's just like it would if we was just niggas sitting around the house drinking it wouldn't be called debate it's just we just talking so it was a good talk there we go mm -hmm. right but just like anything else just like when how i feel about something um when i actually share with amongst other people we realize that some other somebody else may have a different perspective, different point of view, and all that stuff too. So, uh -huh. um, so that's good. Um, and so the the next nomination, the, the next nominee for the great debater is. I don't want it to be punted to. Oh, this is a mental health issue. He needs help because at the no, end of the I'm day, not, he not has to be responsible that, enough to to seek that help he, and treatment. Though. He you has know what to I'm be saying? responsible. I'm saying that also that I. Do agree with Joe with the fact that we're saying that sometimes things that don't sound good to us, or things that offend what we've been taught, or even things that we just can't imagine, have some truth. I mean, and like you said, that there is a truth to the fact that, like I said, dog, every day a lot of people they get up and they go to work to jobs with people that they can't stand. For less pay, no pay, whatever the fuck it may be, they wake up every day in marriages, relationships that they can't stand, want to get out of, can't deal, don't want to deal with, but they stay. It's a choice, and they have less consequences than slaves had. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's all a choice. Life every day is a fucking choice, and I, and I, that part I get with Kanye was his was was it fully fleshed out? Once again, we're talking about an ideal that PhD level motherfuckers who deal with history every day don't talk about because it's such a sensitive topic. And your thoughts have to be so concise. So here's Kanye, who we all kind of agree may or may not be on some fucking manic kick. It is. 
So I'm sorry, I did a horrible job. So that nomination was referencing episode 46. Um, it was where Kanye West mentioned the fact that slavery was a choice. Mm. And, any discussion on that? I think James had some uh, strong opinions on that episode. I was on that episode? Yeah. I don't think you were in that clip, but I think you were in that episode. Uh. <laughs> but he obviously doesn't remember, so. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't okay, remember. but I'm pretty sure he's going to have a say in, in the next nominee. Uh, in the next nom- Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no, no, I will say this, that I, I thought Kanye's statement was moronic, and he had no business discussing it because he had no idea what he was talking about. Correct. Yeah. Simple yeah. as that. I believe that, yeah. Frank, I, mean, I, I, I think I think the debate came in in, in the form of, yes, I think we were all offended by the context of the statement that Kanye made, Mm -hmm. but I think that the argument was made, and uh, I think Roger might have come around to my way of thinking that basically there was a choice to be made there. It may not have been a good choice, but the choice was between living as a slave or bucking the system and, and having a revolt and risking death so I think the ancestors that they chose life, you know, because yeah, we step, wouldn't be yeah. here. We wouldn't be here if they had made the alternate choice right. uh, in a lot of cases. But you know, so it was a very insensitive comment on, on Kanye's behalf. Mm-hmm. But um, and it was very inflammatory. But uh, you know, there's I, yeah. some there's some truth to it. I yeah, can't. And, and all I want to say is like, even though Frank just played me, uh. To whoever's listening, I don't agree with Kanye West. And <laughs> the way it ended made it sound like I agree. It did kind of sound like you want more with Kanye. Yeah, you said you wanted Trump to win. That's basically yeah. what it Well, the listener up. can go he back to episode like, 50, yeah. 46 like to says, listen. Choice. Y'all want, me, y'all, y'all, want, y'all, want, y'all want me to throw a microphone down again? That's what's, that's what's happening oh. right now. <laughs> 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 oh, your way. No. Ladies and gentlemen, that's reference to the last episode. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying a bunch of bitches. Yeah, but like, but like, but like Joe was saying though, it's the it's the the false illusion of a choice. Like, if I you, you can choose to do this other thing, but you may die, and it it it, it, it it's no real choice. So, yeah. And well, but that's that, that that's episode, the whole soundbite that you said that like, you know a lot of motherfuckers like that so, get so up to choice. go to work to a job that they uh-huh. hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you said whole, that's what I'm saying. This is the whole episode. Yeah. Where me and Joe go back and forth, yeah. and basically we tiptoe around the line of the 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 false illusion of a choice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And even thank, when I was listening, goodness, even what? when I was listening to Joe, like I mean, it is inflammatory, and even if you try to defend it or go against it, it, it sounds problematic all, all around. I think. I mean, but it is well, a conversation that way, we need to have. It's so way, it's the way he said it, though. It's not you can't. Like here, we like we, we we talk about it. We we bounce ideas off each other, and we come to some like we we we, we for the most part cover all corners and avenues of it. This nigga just in this avenue of TMZ says say was a choice without the full context. Of course, it comes off fucking yeah. like, fuck everybody who ever did anything who was a person of color. To make sure we can be here having the podcast. I mean, he also yeah, we, did we, say four hundred years. That sounds like a like a like a choice to me for four hundred well, years. Again, we we spent about a half hour discussing it, yeah. dissecting it, looking at it from all angles, and going Correct. through history and all type of thing. That was really just in the sidebar for Kanye. That was just a thought yeah. that popped into Kanye's head, and and he let it out the filter. I think so Candace was behind that, <laughs> and so and it, and it, he he really said it and moved on back to whatever he was talking like, about. You know, what I'm saying it's like yeah. but it's like niggas that buy that T-shirt that says "I'm not my ancestors." You can get these hands. It's like <laughs> you're not really thinking about what that means. So, what, are you are you calling are you calling your ancestors cowards because they made the choice to live? So one day you can wear a T-shirt that says "I'm not my ancestors." You can get these hands. What are you yeah, saying? I I'm a, saying yeah. it, it, it's the I same got into thing. A pretty big debate with somebody about that. When I, about that that exact shirt. Yeah, and I had to break it down for him and make him understand the context of what that what that shirt implies. 
and to what what we face now is nothing compared to what nothing what our even what our parents faced. You yeah. know, that's yeah. When that's they were not young. Even, we don't have to go. Yeah. We don't have to go like back. Night day. Yeah. We don't have asked, to go back 400 years or 200 right. years. We don't live whatever. in we don't live in sundown towns. Right. We don't have you know no. stuff like that. Right. Hey, 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 James, fuck a sundown town. You, you and me can walk down the street today and me right mug now. a white man and not fear lynching. Right. right. We can cross. We can cross. We can cross. <laughs> fuck truth. fuck can me west mug. Shit. Yeah. Look we at can go west of truth. That's what I mean by look at a me mug. Yeah. No, we can go west of truth. Without you know getting hemmed up, lynched, or just generally harassed or arrested, because yeah. that that's that was the dividing line. My yeah. I had a lot of my relatives talk about that. How you when you were black, you better not go past truce unless you were working over there or something like that. You know, it's like you had to have papers almost just to cross truce, yeah. which yeah. is in Kansas City where we live. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I don't know anybody that owns that T-shirt because I'm just like, yeah, but. Yeah, it, it, it is a nice yeah, shirt though. It's not a nice shirt. It, it could be it's problematic, but it's not a nice shirt, bro. But if they like it, they like it. That's their opinion. If no. so, if somebody says, "Fucking I'm, the wetbacks back," I'm not like saying. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying if if they like that, you, you are arguing by saying if they you like are it. Arguing that. Yeah. Whether you believe it's def- or not. what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, Frank, you are arguing that. Yeah, I'm sorry. You, it, it, it's not a nice shirt. It's just not. say that my ancestors I, were weak. I, it's just, it, basically, it's, it's yeah. Shirt, it's the insulting. t-shirt literally says, my ancestors are weak. I'm not. I'll yes. fight you. I will yes. fight you. That's it in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. I'm glad this is the great debater category with the third nomination. Not great debater, though, but back to what you were saying, though. It's not a nice shirt. Don't you buy me whatever, nigga, because I'll burn it in your, in your house. With the third nomination, we have uh, episode 65, which we had James coming out party with a smoked out at daycare. <laughs> yeah. It, it is. If, it, if you're, doing, if you're driving a don't. kid. But here's the thing with marijuana is a person that has smoked so marijuana. Just trying to excuse people showing up high with their kids. That's no, what it sounds be, like. Because you smell marijuana, I'm not that I'm high. I could be in a house and I'm smoking marijuana. It doesn't mean that I'm the high. The point is, please do not show up smelling like alcohol. I mean, smelling like weed. Marijuana. So those are the three nominees. We have the Gardner and the Dud C. Uh, the second nominee with Kanye West was saying that slavery was a choice with Roger making uh, the comparison to people and he knows that he knows people that hate that wake up to go to their jobs that they hate. And we have the third nominee with James saying don't show up to daycare smoked out making the argument not to do that or don't show up to daycare smelling like marijuana. That's what the argument he was saying. And Roger was saying, basically, how, how are you going to know if I'm drunk or if I've been drunk driving, drink driving, drunk driving, whatever. Now, you are the worst. Wow. What are you? <laughs> you all right? Are you okay, Frank? Do we need to are listen to them again? I've been drunk. I've been right. drinking. I'm headed to the daycare. I've been drinking. I'm just drinking and I. <laughs> okay, my I'm vote. My vote drinking. is going to be for. Oh uh, no, we not ready to vote. We ain't broke down the last one yet. Hold up, Frank. Slow down. Oh, this nigga just on. rumbling through everything. Look, I want to finish this. I got to. <laughs> man, on the on the on the on the. So that episode, man, that nigga Roger was just tripping. Really, he was walling out. Robin I don't think I was tripping. Like, no, you were wilding out. You were tripping. You were tripping. <laughs> you were tripping, I, I tripping. tripping. I'm sorry. Uh, I know you don't think you were. <laughs> you ne- That's you fine. never does. Y'all, I'll be the judge. Episode 65. <laughs> Episode 65. Right, go, go. Yeah, go back and, and check that one out, folks. Hey, go back and check it out. These niggas, these, these niggas are rather... Roger, 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 Roger just wants to show up to daycare with a punch in his mouth and drop his kid out. I'm like, yeah. I did, not, I did not say that. I might be in the house. <laughs> Well, I, 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 as one half of the I-70 Connect, 
But all, do all not condone up, putting kids in danger. I do not. I do not condone putting kids in danger. So just thirty but you, pieces. But you, but you, you condone shirts to say my slate, my ancestors are weak. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just saying. This is some bullshit. Man, you do some bullshit. We wouldn't have it. That's the problematic light. That's the that's the problematic light. The mountains. There is a silent strength in doing what it takes not to get killed. Okay. Okay. Uh, So so we have we have the three nominees. We have the three nominees. (laughs) Go ahead, Anthony. What's your choice out of the three? Oh my. Um. Yeah, slavery was a choice. Oh, okay. That's, uh, Joe, what's your what's your vote? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the gardener and the goods. See, I thought that was a pretty good discussion. I think we kept it at a nice level, and it, I think it was very philosophical. You know what I'm saying? All right, Roger, what's your vote? Well, I'm. I'm what the fuck? What's going on with my connection? What's up? Roger, what's your vote out of the three nominees? We got one for I the... think the most concise one that we had was uh, the gardener and the dud seed. I like that one, too. Okay, James, what's your vote? Uh, probably slavery was a choice. Probably, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, slavery was a choice. Uh-oh, Frank with the tiebreaker. Or he might go with C. We don't know. Yeah. Frank goes with C. The only reason why is because we. The, what you Frank, got? Frank goes with C, and the reason being is because James was so st- so stand like he stood real tall on his stance, and Roger was just trying to yell down his down his throat, and then we all <laughs> basically came to an agreement that we don't want to put any children in harm's way, regardless whether you're smoking. Or drinking, whether you smell like alcohol, or you don't smell like alcohol, or you smell like weed, or you vape the weed now because it's not re- you can't really smell it now with vape. Um, I did like the fact that James was like, "Hey, you're not gonna come into a place of well, that takes care of your kids." You know, we put a we put a precedence and we put, put a credence to ed- our educators. Roger's been known to say that educators are are are. They they do a, a a better job, a great job that doesn't go that, that goes on 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 notice basically because we put except our except the wrestling wrestling we, meets we put our kids we put <laughs> we we send our kids to you guys to educate them and to take care of them you know what I'm saying so that's why I go with C but well, that's I, the loser but Get that off. is the loser <laughs> so what connection bro so between so, the the other two. I guess we'll do well, a, guess a, we... a round robin of, of two to, to, to just to make a last plea case. I, my Nigga, vote we just did that. It's just, it's yeah, just, you have to get a tie hey, right. hey, Cole winners. It's a tie. It's so a we tie. have Cole winners. Cole winners. You had a chance to do that, Frank. Hey, you hey fellas, I gave, I, gave my, I gave my vote. I'm going to log off and log back in because my connection is crappy and it shouldn't. Okay, so yeah. we. Cole, Cole winners, Frank. You had so, a chance to break the tie. So we have the Cole winners between. Cole winners. We have co-winners between the Gardner and the Dutsy, and the slavery was a choice by Kanye. Yeah. So y'all, y'all, y'all go back check it out. That's episodes fifty-two and episodes forty-six. Uh, go back and decide for yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have co-winners for that category. Co-winners. Congratulations to the winners. And James, on to up, man. and then on to category four. Category four in this category. Sometimes somebody just pisses you off so much that you would just like to offer them a big bag of dicks <laughs> <laughs> to go do whatever with. In this case, we're we got three winners in this case. And the we're giving out sizes. This is kind of like the Olympics. We've got a, a, a bronze bag of dicks, a silver <laughs> bag of dicks, and a gold bag of dicks. You gotta get a bronze dick. Up your ass. <laughs> <A> bronze <laughs> dick. <laughs> we're gonna give our we're gonna give our bronze bag of dicks to Brett Kavanaugh, basically for being probably the most trash ass 
Supreme I like Court beer. nominee of all time. I like, I like bear. I like, I like I like I like Squee and Little John John. Right, right. <laughs> and and Albert, right, Albert exactly. with the gimme leg. Loves beer. <laughs> loves sexually assaulting girls. Loves the Supreme Court. And let me tell you, uh, on the record, he was the first Supreme Justice to have a calendar uh, detailing. Back since he was like five years old to to modern day, he's the only <laughs> he's the only Supreme Court that can right. tell you. He was a weirdo too. <laughs> yeah, he kept like That's, a little. I crowd. like I like beer. Yeah. I like beer. Right. So that that's you don't like beer. You like beer? I like, I like beer. beer. So I like beer, but I wouldn't admit that shit. So we like to so we like to present Brett Kavanaugh with a bronze bag of dicks to go with his beer. He can there you drink. go. Drinking suck. You can have oh, that man. bronze dick, bitch ass motherfucker. He can he can drink that beer out of his bronze dick. There you go. <laughs> beer <laughs> out of the systems. <laughs> our our silver bag of dicks, a little bit higher quality, goes to Mr. Slavery was a choice, Kanye West. <laughs> Previously discussed why he would deserve a bag of dicks of the silver kind. So we won't we won't belabor that point. And now let's go to the gold. Mm. Our gold medal, our gold bag of dicks winner. Oh. Ooh. He's stinking up the country and raising hell in the Oval Office. Donald J. Trump. Fucking up the world. The world. Yes. The world, the nigga. World. One 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 bullshit lie and terrible tweet at a time. Putting kids in cages, <laughs> kids in cages. separating them from their mamas, yeah. right? Gas it, gas it, migrants. <laughs> yeah, making making your family workers, family members that work for the government work for free right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Or right. get furloughed. Hey, right. Either either get laid off or you're working for free. What's it gonna be? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, nice. So yeah. that those are our three big winners of the inaugural bag of dicks. Nah, he got he got he got the, the golden bag of dick the gold. to go with his golden showers. Golden showers. Hey, which one? Go. <laughs> hey James. <laughs> he get it like a he get he, he get a he get a uh, dick that's like a, a shower fixture. <laughs> right. <laughs> little hole thing. Is that apple? Is that apple juice? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. It's wrong. I guess. Who own you, sir? Yes, sir. Sure, go to the shower, sir. This is from uh, R. Kelly's uh, signature selection. Back, all around from the front. All right, all right, all right. Thank you for that, Joe. I mean, thank you for that, James. Hold on, hold on. Did, 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 did Frank just call Joe James? I, I did that Joe? again. I did that again. Who y'all look like? No. Look like James, me? James, thank you for we, that. We, we ain't gonna call Roger on doing the same thing at the beginning of the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. He called <laughs> him. So, he called. He self checked it. He self checked it. I'll no, give him that. I, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to figure out a name for the brothers. That's, that's, that's why I said, uh, Yo. Uh, I was gonna call y'all the British Bulldogs, the podcast. British Bulldogs. You you <laughs> already called them the, the, the Brothers thing, of Doom. My, I didn't want to start off though, so my thing. So I'm gonna let y'all know my thing for 2019 is to have a new like wrestling tag team name for y'all niggas every, every episode. So I'm uh-huh. That was gonna be. Right. Yeah. But anyway, right. thanks, James. James, you did a wonderful job hard with that. Heart to heart. Yeah. Heart to heart. <laughs> heart, to heart. <laughs> Do the new heart foundation. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> you did you did a wonderful job. That was great. And then now, folks, we're going into it, we're past halfway like mark. Prince, Prince Rasim and motherfucking Wesley Pipes. All right, so Roger's gonna continue. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so we're halfway through the award show. More than halfway through the award show, we're we're heading into the to what me and Joe decided that was gonna be the the juicy, the spicy categories and the more most entertaining ones, at least arbitrarily. Um, we're going into category I mean, five. Yeah. And this was the you was mad mad, nigga. Award. You was mad mad. And I'll let Joe you take it from here. You wasn't just. This is the category where nigga wasn't just mad. <laughs> the nigga was mad mad. Mad mad. <laughs> <laughs> nigga pissed off. Nigga fuck this shit. I got this. 
So we got we got uh we got four <laughs> categories. We we couldn't even narrow this bitch down to three, dog. We had we had to go ahead and go with four categories on this motherfucking bitch. We also had a late entry, a real late entry. Yeah, we we actually scrapped two to make this motherfucking entry. So we see how it work out, man. So our first uh our first nominee was uh way back in I want to say January February episode forty. Uh, it was it was basically about uh when Coco came out and 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 Frank was pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> Frank was well, I got, I got, uh, my bad, my bad. I said, I said, he, he did he didn't like the 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 short that Pixar put in front of it <laughs> with Olaf's Christmas, and, and so he 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 was thinking that they they were uh they were they were doing they were trying to add on to the movie because the Mexican theme the, the Latino theme wasn't gonna be enough and they trying to get the house out there. <laughs> we got we got to put this Olaf out here because they. <laughs> Because ain't nobody gonna come out and see this Latino movie, Coco. <laughs> Cause, cause he was, I don't do that. <laughs> I was mad. I was mad, he, mad. He, he, he like, why? Why it got me thirty minutes, man? Everybody else, everybody else, short was nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they just trying to take away from La Raza. <laughs> La, La Raza. <laughs> so, go ahead. It's been, it's been queued up. Go ahead, man. <laughs> attract white dollars like they did with Coco Coco um, even though Disney and Pixar big studios got behind it you know they, they felt the need to attract the quote unquote air quotes the white dollars and to by supplanting that 30 minute Olaf adventure shit um, and all it did was just <laughs> took away from the actual movie itself you know what I'm saying Man, you, know, you sound you sound like the Grinch that stole Christmas. <laughs> now nah, I was mad. I'm still fucking mad, though. And you know why I'm fucking mad now? Because I bought Coco, right? And they don't they don't have that Olaf short in that bitch. They don't even have that shit on the on on, on the special features, though. So yeah, I'm fucking still mad, man. <laughs> Shout out to Coco for winning Best Picture of the Year. Oh, or Animation shit. of the Year, whatever. Remember me. <laughs> oh shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Roger. You got a category. Hold on. We don't need no more late en- entries. Oh yeah, nigga, you was mad, man. Anyway, let's let's so that's 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 our first uh not everybody. everybody. Yeah. A second note. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, good brother, good brother James, mm-hmm, good brother mm-hmm. James uh, on episode sixty, twin brother darkness. Yes, yeah, so, uh, around uh, around the hundred and eleventh minute, basically we got into the the recent controversies with KU basketball and Bill Self getting caught up in scandals. Mm-hmm. And you know, well, you got two Mizzou guys on the podcast and one KU guy. That's a recipe for a disaster. So, uh, go ahead and cue it up there, Frank. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, you don't. I'm joking. No, you don't. 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 No, you do you you put guilty, on the court, but, but but we all know he's 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 guilty. Oh, he, he doesn't have to say hey, it. Hey, hey, that nigga James be like, I like beer. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard. I work hard. I bust in my butt. James, was you mad? He was a man. I wasn't mad. He was in. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for the views, dog. Bill Self did that, dog. You know he did that. <laughs> Would you put him on the court? Would you defend Self, Bill Self, in court on the own? <laughs> <laughs> He's still mad. He all the time. <laughs> I don't even hear anything you're saying. Everybody's laughing. I don't even. Know what you're <laughs> No, nah, I, I, I was I about to say that. I will say to everybody, like, why uh, Frank's playing the clips? Go if you're gonna laugh, whatever. Hit your mute button. 
<laughs> Anthony. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's our second nominee. Third nominee. Uh, damn near everybody was was mad when Kareem Hunt got caught up in his bullshit. And uh, I think the thing about this, it was on episode 66, somewhere around the 48th minute. Um, it was fresh information. We had been swept up in, in a whirlwind season by, by the Chiefs. And uh, I think we had just gotten the information right before the podcast. So we were all still reflecting and digesting. And emotions were flowing. Uh, so we have a clip here where the nominee is everybody. But I think particular, if you had to pinpoint somebody it'd either be me or or roger was really mad mad on that episode so um go ahead yeah yeah just to reiterate real quick it it was really fresh i think we got on like three hours less than three hours after the news broke so everybody was still kind of figuring it out so here we go with winston Mm -hmm. being real passionate about it that it's like yo you kicked a girl you you gotta go though you a shit bag you done no i'm saying that what i'm saying is I would have been okay with a suspension. Nigga, you say, all over the map. T- you don't know yeah, what the fuck yeah, you're yeah. doing. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? Okay, hold on. You all over the... But he kicked a woman. Oh, my God. He deserves to die. <laughs> I didn't say he deserves to die, you nigga. Know but you seem to be okay with his team mixes, though. Ago. As long as they on your favorite oh team. He lied. Oh, my God. He broke a death. But you seem to be okay when niggas kicked him bitches on their favorite team. How can we have an executor together? Where's the gas chamber? Do they still say that? No, but Damn. listen, but listen, they but this hey, you, want, hey, hey, you want, you want tampon for your period? Tar and feather, tar and feather. You want tampon for your period? You sound real emotional right now, pimp. You mad, so you mad, man. Hey, I ain't mad. You get that award, I ain't mad. Hey. I said before, though, dog. I give. He was mad, man. And I, and I will, wow. you know what? Okay, you know okay. what? Hold on. Let, 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 let everybody <laughs> stop. Let everybody <laughs> stop. All I will say, <laughs> no, all I will say is, I was, I will say the same point, same right. thing. Well, whether it be, whether it be Big Ben, right. right. whether it be right. anybody else, uh, I don't give, I don't give a fuck. If you're assaulting people, I don't give a fuck what happens to you, bro. I don't give a fuck. All right. You know, you know, you know the society we live in now. You know the rules we live in right now. I don't give a fuck what happens to you. I don't care if you're on my favorite team. I don't give a fuck if I, if I rock your jersey. But you know what it is, pimp. You know what it is. And, and when I, I asked you a simple question, if that was your daughter, how you would feel about it, you got real quiet. You, you were but, somewhere else. You but, but, but you're, you're you so answer? passionate about it. I'd be upset. I'd be upset. You, you be upset. upset. you would be upset. you probably buy his jersey and buy your daughter's you jersey. How'd that sound, pimp? Yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa. Damn. God Whoa. damn. <laughs> hey, she I just got hot. I was going to let y'all talk about it. And then Frank B called me into the conversation. <laughs> and I said one thing that was a little bit left of center. A little left of center. And, <laughs> and it was like just... everybody coming at me. I was like, oh, shit. They got I'm taking all enemy fire. They go, son. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Nah, Rod the one, the only one now. It's some other niggas sitting on this podcast and threw some shots too now. No, we all threw yeah. shots. Yeah, we all threw yeah. shots. Oh, no, but, but uh, I mean, we, 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 we can critique it whatever the fuck, but I was talking to somebody who was asking, like, how we, you know, how we get, sometimes we get heated on here. It's, it's fun. It's a funny podcast. It's also like, well, I mean, it's not well thought out because we don't really like dig deep into like what we're going to do week to week. But everybody here is pretty intelligent. But they say how I had someone ask me how you guys allow like one minute you're like at each other. The next minute you're laughing and joking. I said, that's what friendship is all about. Like, like everybody on here, I have a friendship with. It's not even like. I don't like, I love all y'all, I respect all y'all. So I think that's what we bring to the podcast as far as like, we can get into it, we can fucking like go at each other at the end of the day though. Niggas, is, niggas care about each other, you know what I'm saying? So we can hold each other accountable to a degree where if it's just some random nigga that calls you out on some shit, you'd be like, man, fuck you nigga, don't talk to me. But like, everybody here in the, the day, it's like, it's not coming from a thing where we, we feel disrespected. We, we might get upset and get emotional about it. Yeah, uh, that's that's what brothers do, man. For real. I mean, you know, we laugh, joke, at, and at the same time, you know, we argue when we have disagreements. You know, so and and that's just a part of you know uh, to 
to, you know, uh, alliterate on what you're saying that, you know, that's what we do. So, I mean, yes, we argue sometimes and other times we joke and laugh. That's yep. just us. Yeah, yeah. I won't get off sidetracked, though, but somebody asked me about that because, like, like, the last couple episodes, niggas have gotten real spicy. And I'm like, but they're like, yeah, y'all spicy and y'all laughing in the next minute. I'm like, that's, what, that's just what niggas do. If you know old black I mean, you know old, yeah. you know old brown it's, man, we do. It's it's really like uh, the table of Eva J's, man. That, that, that's what I'd be like, but if I said the table of Eva J's, niggas wouldn't get it. Like, so, like we, 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 me, me, and, me and Joe should have been enemies long ago. Because, like, niggas would go from the span of eating breakfast to somewhere before lunch, like several disagreements, and then end of the day dapping each other up and be like, "I'll see you tomorrow, my nigga." Yeah, we be, we, be, we be right back at we be right back at, right back right at, back at it. Hey, hey, I'll be over here after my first class, man. I see you there. Yeah, yeah. And, and the same thing go for me and James though. Like me and James, like we be at work and like niggas would like be disagreeing on like hip hop, rap, fucking raise children, love, and all this shit, whatever the fuck. And then we right back at it the next day. Me and yeah. Frank, same thing. Like literally every day, I'm at at his house, and we just chopping it up, talking about TV shows or football games. We we had a, we had a gang, like whatever. Me and me and fucking Anthony, same thing. It's like that's what niggas do. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's how like the common denominator is Roger, though. Hey, it <laughs> is, it is, it is. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted, though. Don't. He, he, the, he the Reggie Jackson. He's the he, he, he the straw that stirs the drink. He in the, he in the he's, middle of all this. Yeah. He's the antagonist, man. Mister October, this motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> see, see how you want it, though. Me and Frank talked about a podcast. Yeah. My niggas James and Joe, two niggas I respect. Who don't always agree with me because I don't want motherfuckers who agree with me talking with me every day. Fuck that. They're here. Yeah. My nigga Anthony, somebody who I work with who don't always agree with me, somebody here. If I gotta be the combinator for us to have a somewhat great or decent podcast, however you want to see it, I'll be it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, on, on that particular episode, I will say this We came back a week later. Yeah. yeah. And did an episode, and I shut uh, the uh, fuck up for like the first hour. Uh, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel like talking about shit y'all was talking about. Y'all talking about Because y'all talking about Kevin Hart, I was going to disagree on that. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to keep it to myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Hart, uh, what's the name? Huh? Come back, 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 back. I haven't hit you up like, you crap, him? Yeah, the game. I, we good. I just, it's all love. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I so anyway, for that was that's that's a, that's a third. Go ahead. No, I I for one would say ahead. would say the same thing as, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, I don't want to talk to a bunch of people that I, I mean, obviously, I don't want to talk to a bunch of people that I don't. I, I'm not gonna disagree because that's gonna be like I'm gonna be fighting against my wall. But at the same time, it's like I want to. I like I like the platform that we have that we bounce ideas off of each other. Knowing that one or everybody is not gonna feel a certain way. How how many times have I put out something out there and then I've been called out on it, bullshit and this and that reference or something else? And 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 going back to the friendship or whatever and how we can switch it from being down each other's throat to you know you know laughing and joking the next. I know a lot of people sit in the last couple of episodes they talk about James. He calls me out and the. You know, in the podcast of like the, the producing of it or whatnot, that's fine. That's criticism. I could take it. You know what I'm saying? It's and I roll with it. That might be like a, a running joke going forward, and and I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously, I'm gonna get better, James. All right, I'm gonna get better. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and wrap this? Up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I said, same same destination, different paths, bro. Same destination, different paths. But that was just yeah, the, the third so, nomination. Joe, what you saying, Joe? Before Frank All right, so uh, so so <laughs> that's that's the third nominee. We got one more, and this is a late entry. Uh, oh oh we man, got a late entry here. Uh, so, I, I, so last week, oh uh, shit. <laughs> It says episode 60, but I think it's episode 69. So episode 69, somewhere around the uh, 121st minute, we were discussing um, the the wrestler. The uh, wrestling while black. Oh, yeah. The hashtag, you know what I'm saying? 
And so the young man had got his hair clipped, and uh, we took some different stance. We all thought that the boy had been done wrong. As a matter of fact, it just came out this week. Or a matter of hey. fact, today, I believe, that they went ahead, the, the state of New Jersey went ahead and fired their referee. I <laughs> win. Well, I think, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I I'm think, joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. no, 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 I mean, I, I think there's some truth to that, but I think what, what, what was happening is, you're right, the state did not do their job, the state should have fired that man the first time he was brought up on some racial shit. When he yeah. called the other referee a nigga, he should have been fired then and there, and then we would, probably wouldn't be dealing with this shit, but we, I think we all agreed that there was some, some blame to be spread around, but at the time, we weren't seeing eye to eye on it, uh, so Roger, in the middle of that, well, Frank, Basically took control of the show and, and muted my nigga Roger. That shit was hey hilarity ensued, nigga. So it it was not planned. It was not planned. I you know I I I, I saw it and, and I took action. I, I blame my the military in me. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead, push play, buddy. And, and before that, um, I just I just want to say that um. The, the, we all took the. Go ahead, I'll, I'll play the clip now. Sorry. Please just play the clip. Hey man, I, I saw a meme the other day that was talking about like a uh, old black Hollywood story. Sorry, wrong clip. Sorry, this is the clip. Get together, Frank. Get your man. shit together, man. To the right. Right. I said, ready to report it. That's the way in. The way in. Dude, Dude that is the way in. You said you said we're going back now. We're not going back to the room, man. Go back to the room, Frank. Once again, I want to say, turn into the to the Tasmanian devil. Once again, I want to say I, that was not premeditated, for sure. Uh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
But even in defeat, I win. <laughs> <laughs> well, just Maybe so you know, spoke volumes, bro. Yeah, <laughs> just so you know, the the referee, the argument at that that people were making was the referee was applying the rule in place. He was applying it correctly. Don't give a fuck. That nigga's right. fired, nigga. But yeah, he's fired now. Yeah, yeah I'm not shit, man. Well, is is he fired or is it that the district is not that? No, he got, he got, that no, school district. At first, well, at yeah, first the, the, district, the, the district basically made a decision. Superintendent said he's not going to referee in our district anymore. Right. right. So, or so or send the, the, the kids you, to you whatever he was going to referee. You can you can definitely you know you hire officials that come to work in your yeah, uh, facility. Right. So if 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 you're hiring officials to come work for your school district, he can definitely say we're gonna blackball this attorney. I mean this uh this official, and then if you right. go outside to somebody else's thing and, and and you you know if they got them on the thing, you tell them, hey we're not coming if this guy's gonna be your official. So you can definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, you can you can blackball nah, this dude. This dude. District. This dude's done. So basically, no, I'm, I'm saying I'm saying that's what, got, yeah, yeah. that's what happened you first. Yeah, 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 Kaepernick. And then, yeah, and then yeah. today it came out that, that the state was like, "Nah, we'll go ahead and, and, and let him go because he's not representing us well," you know. So, so they he's the white Kaepernick. Did it, did it two years ago. Huh? You said he's the white Kaepernick. Yeah, no, I didn't say. I said he's he gonna get white balled. White Kaepernick. I said he got Kaepernick. Oh, that's the same thing, isn't it? White Kaepernick, the white Kaepernick. I didn't say he's the no, white no, Kaepernick. No, no. In terms oh, no, of being no, black. No, no, oh, no. black ball. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say he's yeah. the white Kaepernick. Yes. No. No. Don't say that. He was, oh, no, he, no. No. He, he, hold on, hold on. He, he, when he Frank, ordered Frank, it, said, <laughs> fuck what Frank said. Roger Winston did not say he's the white Kaepernick. I said he got <laughs> Kaepernick, nigga. That's different, nigga. The only thing I gotta say is, what happens when a white athlete gets told to cut his dreadlocks. What's going to happen to that referee? It, it, I'm, it I'm won't just happen. Saying. First of all, it won't, yeah, what, it won't happen. Say, I'm, I'm just saying, Frank. I'm just saying. Come up with this shit at, man. <laughs> it won't happen, bro. It's a random ass thought you have. They, they, they're, they're, they're it is a random, random thought. That's all. That's, <laughs> there are numerous white kids who have to cut his dreads off. What? Yeah, yeah there are numerous instances <laughs> for white kids having big ass, Never. puffy afros, long ass hair, <laughs> motherfucking, what's that crazy ass shit they had with the business up Business up front, party in the back shit. <laughs> the boomers, it's that mullet. shit. They ain't got to cut the mullet. The mullet, they, yeah. They ain't got to cut that shit, bro. Mm. And the winner Maybe. is Joe. Go ahead. Uh, so Frank is just, you know, done like he likes to do and did a fucking executive decision, even though we decided we was going to vote <laughs> on this shit. Oh, he did do yeah. some unilateral, oh, unilateral yeah. shit. We, we, we discussed it. We was going to vote on this shit, so I don't know why the fuck he didn't put a winner down already. <laughs> Oh, my yeah, bad. Yeah, <laughs> but fuck that nigga. We gonna go around the room. Hey, Joe, I wasn't gonna say nothing. I was like, did we vote on this already? <laughs> nah, that nigga just be doing shit, man. I don't know what the fuck he be doing sometimes. Is Frank, is Frank the, the fucking the DNC nigga? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> And then you put the super delegates on that motherfucker. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'm Hillary. All right, let's go uh, ahead and vote then. Come on. Win, nigga. <laughs> All right, Anthony, Anthony, what you got? Uh, what you got on that one? Which one you pick, man? <laughs> man, I'm gonna pick uh, Frank and Olaf. I mean, Frank's Olaf and uh, Coco. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's <just> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking white mad. dollars. He was mad. He's not like a, a woke Mexican dog. <laughs> fucking white dollars. <laughs> it still did good. He didn't need that shit. James, what you got, man? Man, I got. He, <laughs> I, I kind of want to not do it because Frank already picked it. I just, I, I kind of want, but I can't really, in good conscience, not go with the uh, the Tasmanian devil gets muted. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. That's like that was. I think that's that's the most off the rail that I that think was. we've ever been. God. And it was probably a good thing that that Frank did that because it was it was spiraling out of control at a very quick pace. Yeah, I got I got something to say. To that I got something to say. Uh, I, I, let's go. With, let's go with Frank. 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 Who you got on it, man? I mean, my my intuition initially wanted to go with Olaf versus Coco. But since Coco won because big... He, because of something he did. Oh, well, fucking ego and shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why is no. that bitch called a Frankie? Right. Well, I just, I, just said Coco, I just said Coco won big, not only no. in the hearts of, a, of people, but money-wise as well. 
But I have to go with the, the late entry with Roger being muted. It was really unscripted. The, the show was about to go get derailed even further than what it was. And I just made an executive decision. I know you guys hate that shit, but in this case, it worked. And I'm glad it worked. And I'm glad we're able to laugh about it now. So I'll go with uh, Roger being muted. Hey, right, Roger Wayne, what you got, buddy? I hate everybody. Dog. Nah, leave him for last. Fuck that. No, nah, don't leave him for last, nigga. He's the one percent. He's a dick. <laughs> Roger Wayne. <laughs> a bag of dicks. Yeah, bag of dicks. Add, add your name to the Bag of Dicks Awards. Even though I want to uh, nominate James for the Bill Seth shit just because a KU fan and I'm being petty. Yeah, uh, seeing how ridiculous all that sound sounded, that last entry, and I hate the fact that I got muted just off my name's sake, as we talked about in the chat group, because everybody was yelling like a motherfucker. Right. Uh, uh, your levels were high, though. Not higher than yours, nigga. We all seen what your um, that time like it were in the pregame. So anyway, <laughs> as I was saying though, before Frank interrupted me, you know what? I even though I hate to do it, I mean it. it yeah, even though I won in the end, <laughs> but did you? I did. Yeah, but you did you? Because the referee and everybody was like, "No, the coach and all this shit." Not the referee. Y'all talking about policy and all this shit. But the policy is fucked up. We talked about that on another episode. <laughs> I, I, I would nominate the uh, yeah me get muted. <laughs> All that self mutilation. Pick four. All that shit just to say I pick myself. Yeah. Four, four, right. four, four play is best. Most definitely. Just don't just don't put your dick in. I mean I that is you, three. Uh, yeah. The the last two were hard choose between uh, the. I'm telling you what, the Kareem Hunt shit had me mad for a fucking week, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I'll be the wi- I'll be the witness to that. Hold on, hold on. You see how I felt though, nigga. No, I'll be the witness Boy, to that. And, Joe and, was and, and, was and mad. If we had the mute button, the nigga would have got muted that episode, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Had we known how to work that motherfucker by the end, nigga, a nigga would have right. got muted that episode. Right. Yeah. Shit. But uh, but we just had to fucking fight through that motherfucker. We just <laughs> to the bitter end, nigga. <laughs> We didn't get no time out. <laughs> so uh I, I think we go we're gonna go ahead. We got three votes for the uh Roger getting me muted, so that's gonna be the winner right there, even though winner, winner chicken dinner. Yay. With a strong Late Kareem, entry. With a strong Kareem hug came in. He put in a good good effort, so that's that's uh, a strong I, just, hey, too. I was so mad. I didn't even know y'all niggas was partying like that, even though I had my head <laughs> on. <laughs> Yeah, you, uh, you, right. you know, I was over there trying to play this shit up, nigga, just, just to fuck with just you. Just blind. Oh, Joe, Joe was, Joe was like feeding uh, the machine, like, though. It's like, even when they get you on something, <laughs> you're, you're, you're breaking up. And just be like, man, fuck y'all, nigga. Fuck y'all, dog. You broke up, though. So. You ain't gonna fight these niggas. These your niggas. You ain't about to fight them. Right. <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. What you gonna do? Yo, dude, nigga. <laughs> Go back to your dorm, cry a little bitch. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna cry in the car, nigga. <laughs> you be back tomorrow, nigga. Yeah, man. All you right, know, you fun know fun what fun. I just, I just thought about, guys. Going forward next year, what that that you was mad, mad is gonna look like? Because I know now everybody's gonna watch with their tone and how they say shit. They don't want to be on this shit. list next Not year. Really, Not really. <laughs> nope. Nigga, this 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 is the digital barbershop, nigga. Ain't nobody yeah, watching yeah. this on, nigga. <laughs> nigga, we going in. Yeah. All right, that that was a good. I'll give I'll give credit to Joe. He we, we he made he made that category happen. I mean, it, he it really was. He he basically tailored it, and I want to give you kudos. To, he don't need you to category. wash his balls. Let's move on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, all right, all right. Let's. Do all right, we're on to the sixth category, and arbitrarily, I chose to call this the Frankie Hall of Fame, aka Feel Good Stories of the Year. Hey, what did this happen? I told you. I, 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 I did say arbitrarily. It was, it was supposed to be the Hallmark Hall of Fame, right? But but we don't want to get sued, though. We don't we don't want to get sued by Hallmark. Get sued. 
nigga, no, nigga, I veto all this shit right now, nigga. No, I ain't voting on none of this shit, nigga. I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, nigga, I'm about to be like Trump, nigga. So the the Nicaragua narcissist. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm about right, so, to shut this motherfucker down, dog. No wall, and no wall, no, ain't nobody getting paid, nigga. Uh, this is the feel good story of the show. I mean, it's not the, the the wall is not a feel good story unless you're racist. Are you racist? Am I racist? Yeah. Or do I want? Uh, do I want? No, no. The, are you racist? The wall means racism. So do I want to secure a border for my country. Are you racist? It, it, it can be played both ways. No, the wall is racism. I want to secure a border for my country. It's racism. Mm-hmm. It's racism. The wall is just impractical and stupid. But it's racism, though. Why are you no, putting it up it's for? Not, it's not, huh? Why are you putting it up for? Because we have a we have a fucking southern border. That is why not in the northern border? Are you going to put one in the northern border? We can if you want to. No, 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 no. Right. But, but, but right are now, you? But right now, why you don't right want to put up a northern border? Oh, oh, a northern wall in the northern border. So there's a lot of drugs coming from the northern border. I don't know that. You tell me that. You tell me. You're asking me the question. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't traffic. I, I don't traffic you drugs. Now you answer it. I, I would say that there's equal amount of drugs going through from Canada, which is drugs are legal, where, where marijuana is legal. Ma- marijuana is legal up there, so so they can they can go from international waters through shipment or through airline, and then they could drop them down. So what now? Oh, so you want so we'll, build, we'll build a northern wall too? Is that fine? Okay, but we're not though. Anyway, so going back with category six for the feel good stories of the year, no, name to be determined later on. I don't know what you mean by that. We're I, gonna. I was, to, was advocate, but you, you didn't answer my question. The the water the wall indicates racism. The wall. Why are you putting up a wall? The wall indicates there's already a wall down there. There's a fence. Why do you need a wall? So, which is a wall. Well, and most- why is it up there, though? <clears throat> There's also a wall on the northern border, too, though, right? So for our listeners, this is Winston. He's he's digging. He's digging. He's digging. I, I think I'm saying there's also a fence for can, a wall. Can we go into the I've category been a, now? I've been a, I've been, you, want to start, you don't want to start this. There's also a wall or a fence on the northern border, too, though, right? No, there isn't. There, is. there are pillars every 100 miles that are there's markers. A, I, I, I've been up there. Right, Detroit, but you 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 are at a border crossing, not a, at a border wall across the entire border because there are pillars. But we can go into another but episode also, if you want to. If you, down, if you go down south, I've been down south. I crossed the border there too. There's not a, a wall across the whole border also either. That's what are you talking about? Right, there's a fence. There's not even fences everywhere either. There's not. I've no, been there, there too. There's I, I, a I fence in areas. I've been, yes, I've been, I've been to I've been to 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 uh, Nuevo, whatever the fuck. Uh, Boys Town, New Mexico. I mean, Mexico. There's no, there's no. So can we go with cat- w- can we go with the feel good stories in category six now? Oh, now, 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 now prove your, your, your No, I, I, I've your, been wondering. This is the second push. time me saying the feel good stories yeah. with the name to be determined later <laughs> let's go, on. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's keep that's why this shit will never be called the Frankie. Well, yeah, that's fine. Exactly. That's that's fine. I, I already get. <laughs> I, I already oh, conceded yeah, that. I, I conceded that, but he wants to dig into more. Notice how he oh, talks yeah. about the sword and butter, but this yeah, makeshift yeah. border that's in, anyway. The feel good story of the year, we have three nominees with the first nominee being Frank's solo episode in episode 59. We don't have, an, we don't have audio. Uh, the second nominee, which was the Marquise Goodwin episode 65, uh, which was when Marquise Goodwin tweeted out to uh, Odell Beckham Jr., um, uh, he didn't tweet it out. Excuse me. He didn't tweet out to Odell Beckham Jr. But he saw the the tweet about uh, Marquise's sister being para, 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 paraplegic. Um, and Odell came to the um, and did a dance off and hugged her and all that uh, unsolicited. And then we have the third nominee, which is the LeBron James opening up the I Promise School. And in the pregame, it was uh, determined whoa, that... Whoa, whoa, Frank, Frank, Frank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow oh, okay. down. Okay, go, go ahead. Hold your go horses. Ahead. We, we, we not going to digest this and, and dissect it? Uh, he got somewhere to go. No, I'm saying we did that in pregame, though. I mean... Yeah, but we ain't do it on the air so people can hear what it's okay, about, so... man. All right, because your explanation of Mark is good when lacked. I I go ahead and kick it off, man. Uh, I'll do, I do the, the Frank solo episode, man. Frank was uh, doing an open letter 
to his uh, his son and to his future unborn, son. his future son. Yeah, so he, I think he, that was... he copied that from a movie. I did. Yep. Oh, on but none. I, I don't know that. Sorry. What movie know. is that? Yeah, I, I love life. Michael Keaton. Which one? He's dying of cancer. Yeah, and his Ooh. son is his wife is pregnant. Yeah, so he uh, oh, he makes a video to his unborn son, you know, just about life and who he is and blah blah blah. Yes. And he kind of helps him adjust to knowing he's gonna die, and he goes to like it's it's a good movie, but that yeah, I know yeah. he didn't really mean to do that, but that's what it reminded me of. Frank, Frank, have you seen that movie? No, I'm gonna have to go see it now. To be honest, no, it's a good movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a tear jerker. Bring some tissue. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I I felt like it was an original idea. But, I'm, I'm, you know. I wasn't being serious. Yeah. Okay. So, with that being said, uh, <laughs> pretty good episode. He uh, he went there and he basically uh, talked about how you know the feelings he was going through. And so, uh, I recommend y'all if y'all interested in you know getting to know him a little bit better and understand you know what he's going through in these days. It's a good episode. Go check out. I think it was episode fifty nine. Yeah, fifty nine. So, yeah. It's short episode. It's short episode. Thirty mm-hmm. minutes or so. James, you didn't like the Marquis Goodwin uh, explanation. Why don't you go ahead and... Okay. I think it needs to be emphasized that, yes, Marquis Goodwin's sister is paraplegic. He basically is taking care of her, been her caretaker her whole life. And then once he went to the NFL, where he, he's making millions of dollars, he could have easily hired someone else or brought somebody in to take care of her, but he still takes care of her. I'm sure not all the time, but he still makes an effort to take care of her and take care of her daily needs, like everything. Feed her, bathe her, clothe her, you know, clean up after everything that she needs. He takes full care of her. And for him to, he could easily pass that off to a a full-time nurse or something like that, but he didn't because he cares. He feels like, and he said in, in a video that he feels like that is his duty, his purpose in life is to care for his Sister, who cannot take care of herself, mm-hmm. yeah. which I think and, was makes it such a feel good story. And, and in addition to that, um, he and his wife had been going through some controversy themselves. They had had a stillborn child, mm-hmm. um, so he's persevering through that, and um, you know, still trying to you know put aside his hurt and his grief, mm-hmm. and still try to bring some joy to his sister's life. So he got into a dance battle with uh, what's the name from the Giants? Oh, oh Dell Beckham. Okay. Oh yeah, got into a little little dance battle in the oh, end zone before their game, the 49ers Giants game this season, and uh, I think it was just it was then then on Twitter how I found out about it, I think on Twitter he, he went ahead and shouted out uh, Goodwin and I'm not sorry Goodwin uh, but Beckham, and you know basically talked about how that little moment between them really made her year, you know what I'm saying? So she she thoroughly enjoyed that and it brought some some light into her life, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, and and it was unsolicited. Marquise didn't do anything with. He wasn't chasing after Odell Beckham too. So my my, my fault for that, but it, it was unsolicited too. So this was Odell's. I think what it, you said. Uh, someone got into Odell's ear, and Odell came to it out of his own conviction, um, which is genuine. You know what I mean? Even if you see the video, you could tell that it was genuine too. So it was love all around too. So. So that was uh, episode 65, if y'all want to go back and check on that. Um, anybody want to talk about LBJ? Uh, ooh, I don't remember the exact episode, but just it just deals with the fact when uh, uh, LeBron opened up the school up in uh, Cleveland as far as like uh, starting a... Uh, I think it's Akron, actually. Akron. Yeah, probably Akron. Yeah. I'm in Ohio. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Akron, my bad. Uh, as far as like a uh, charter-type school... For uh, young kids, I think at first it was what fifth and sixth grade, hoping to expand it to mm-hmm. uh, to more grades down the line. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, it was like it wasn't like some like I know a lot of people like at first well, it was just some charter school, or some private school, but it was like in league with the uh, Akron um, uh, public school system. Uh, so I'm mean, pretty much above board as far as everything, and just like something that he. As far as a young man without a father and one his mom doing so much and wanting to give back to the city he's that he's uh hails from um uh, and wanting just to put more money in there and then outside of that, not just having a school for children mm-hmm. so making ways for their parents as far as like job opportunities helping mm-hmm. as far as like employment uh food pantry 
because we all know the fact that if the kids go to school and they go home, they if they're hungry, uh, that's going to fuck with their education too. So just like a well-rounded system that he was kind of interested in, and thank you, James, pointed out in Akron. Uh, so yeah, man, just just I mean, and once again, man, and I think I think also, I mean, uh, um, if they, I, I mean, it's going to depend on when he starts graduating, like high schoolers. Yeah, I yeah. think if I think if they graduate from his from his high school, that they're automatically going to get college tuition to a state school or something. State school, yeah, that was another, that University was, of Akron, or, or I think it was something Texas like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, so once again, like you can like demonize him for his antics on the court, whatever, whatever. But off the court, man, I mean, been a, a, a really like great just person, man. Great fucking human, man. Like mm-hmm. one of the people where we're like. Of course, you know, I, I, I always have my rant where I say we just need to kick this motherfucking earth into the sun and just start all over again with humanity. But he's one of those people you look to as far as a, a human, as far as, like, his wife, his children, and just his community and how he cares about them. And also being, like, in this day and age of, like, uh, these uh, mega superstars who are more worried about uh, profits over as far as, like, social commentary... Someone's been pretty outspoken as far as how he feels about the plight of uh, people of color in the world, and how, and specifically how they treat it as far as like in sports. So, just once again, hat off to him, man. Hat off to you know, hat off to that dude, man. One thing I will say about yeah. about him is, um, obviously, we all know LBJ from his humble beginnings of you know when the media started covering him in high school and all that stuff. But one thing I, I will say is. Uh, kudos to LBJ, uh, regardless of how he, you know, if he wins or not. Kudos to LBJ for not trying to tackle um, the entire system by opening up this school. Just like how Winston said, it was what fifth and sixth, you know, sixth, fifth and sixth graders or something like that. Like, yeah, in other words, I, he he yeah, didn't yeah, go from a K to twelve school or a K to fifth grade school. He's it, it, it's going to develop and it's going to evolve. So. I like I like that that approach. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, Frank, drum roll. Who's the winner? Oh, the winner in this case was Marquise <laughs> Goodwin. I mean, it, it, it was worth to say these are all feel good stories. They're all winners, but the ultimate winner was Marquise Goodwin. Episode sixty five. Yeah, I, I think two of them really stood out though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and I, okay. I think for me, like as far as like the LBJ, the LB, uh, LeBron James school, I think for me, like next year, looking at what that, things like that, that's going to determine how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying as we, as we get more and more information about it and how it's affecting that community. But initially, it's like, yeah, I mean, still hats off. But that mark is good when right. she. Yeah. I mean, the, the video of his sister. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's a tearjerker, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. I agree. It's all good, though. All, all the nominees are well deserved enough. Yeah. Right. Hey, 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 Frank, you. you know, yeah, Frank. Yeah, sharing, yeah. sharing a little bit of himself with the with with America. Yeah, man. That's now. That's that, but real talk <clears throat> on on Frank on Frank saying that's brave, man. To go ahead and put out your face. yeah. I'm of, serious. Of, of love and admiration, and put that out there in a the public format. That's that's really brave, and yeah. uh, that's I why it was a nominee. That's definitely why it was a nominee. Uh, For sure. I, I will say this though: it but wasn't. We're not naming it to Frankie. No, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Frankie, nigga. No, that's fine. No, but I will say this though: it wasn't. Um, it wasn't <laughs> intentional in in the sense that I didn't I didn't record to put out an episode. I just happened to be recording to test some audio. And at the moment, I, I felt a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like me and Winston, go going back to our, our origins is, you know, we want to be able to go back and look at these episodes and listen to these episodes and to and see how either how we felt or what the progress that we have made. And for me, it was important to capture that audio. And, that's, I, and I and I fought a couple of times to, to whether I want to put it up or whatnot. Because just like when I shared the information with our our, our, our previous pregnancy, that was kind of you know we kind of jumped the gun a little bit and we had an issue with the 
with with the pregnancy or whatnot, and you know, I felt a certain way, and I wanted to. This this was my my, you know, I, I needed to to relieve myself of that, and and also, you know, put the onus on my son now, and then our future son. But anyhow, so I I would encourage any, any of you guys to do it, man, whether you share it or not. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, moving along. All right. Number seven. Looks like we're in the, the final category. This is it. Hey, and for next year, even though we are, we, in hindsight, I was like, damn, we probably should put the, uh, I'm not calling shit the Frankie, but that the one we just read should be last. But, so here we are. The, uh, no, I would Jewish. disagree. I would disagree just because it is. You want to end it on a high note like this. Oh, but I or put it at the beginning. Let's, let's see how this play out. Let's, let's see, see how this play, play out. out. Yeah. Right. My thoughts. My thoughts. So here we are, right? Right. Last one. Last award of the evening or the day or the morning, where the fuck you listen to the show at. The You Ain't a Shit Award. The You Ain't Shit Award. So what this award is, these are like topics which begin as serious, like somewhat, maybe somewhat serious topics that we find ourselves finding comedy in, right? Or like laughing at. Or we end up going down that dark path where we know we shouldn't be laughing, but we can't help it, right? <laughs> we? we we drifted we? to the silly time. We? Yeah. No, we? Oh, nigga, uh, uh, when you play this audio, nigga, uh, ain't just one nigga laughing. So I say we, nigga, and I ain't friend. I was shocked and appalled. <laughs> it's lying, Nigga laughing. At hey, 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 hey. Hey, we we gonna find out. These motherfuckers was talking about. I ain't have shit to do with. We we going back. We gonna review the tape this time. We got, Wait, and we gonna see exactly what month. What, what these are receipts. The receipts. The receipts. We got the receipts, nigga. <laughs> we got the receipts. We got the receipts. You can go ahead and drop off if you want to now. You go ahead and drop off. <laughs> cut, and r- cut and run, nigga. Cut and run. <laughs> hey, say it, say it, say it. Say something like right over your Google Fiber cable, nigga. <laughs> but anyway. So uh, you know, so, fine. <laughs> so I explained it to y'all. So uh, first up to bat, uh, in the uh, "You Ain't Shit" award category is uh, episode forty-one at the twenty-six minute mark. In the episode, a uh, name was uh, "Cocaine Pussies," where we discussed uh, is it uh, Pam um, Pam Greer Pam, Pam Greer. Greer and her dealings with Richard Pryor and how he used to put. Uh, Cocaine on his penis, so he can stay harder longer. I'm Let's, not sure that, that might be how he's doing it. He might have just been down there facing the place. That, that too. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Well, you know, he talked about that in. in his act, though. Yeah. So let 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 let's see how that turned out for the nigga rock crew. crew. Hey man, I, hey, I saw advice. a man the other day that was talking about like uh, <laughs> old black Hollywood stories that you know people don't talk about or yeah. like Instagram or whatever. whatever. And it was talking about uh, Richard Pryor was dating Pam Greer. And yeah, basically, what he was doing was putting cocaine in Pam Greer's nether region. In the pussy? In the pussy. Without just... her really knowing about it. Mm. To the point where she went to the doctor. They said, you got cocaine residue <laughs> on your... You laughing, you laughing. Oh, that just sounds so fake and dude, made up. Dude, oh, nigga, no. I'm only laughing. Say you got because... cocaine residue on your cervix or some shit. I'm thinking and I'm... and 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 do and 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 because of this, you can't have no kids. No, I only okay. Huh? Damn, that's sad. That took a real bad turn. Yeah, I'm saying that's but the before you got to that part, in my mind I picture a nigga with a giant afro with a clipboard. <laughs> In a white, in a white lab coat coming in, and I look, bitch. Uh, you got cocaine residue in your pussy. Uh, that's that's why I was laughing. <laughs> it's just yeah, funny, nigga. Damn. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I should be like, no. hey, oh. my bad, my bad, too. Hey, man, that, that was the joke for at least like two, three weeks after the fact, too, man. <laughs> okay. but, 
Oh my God! Any woman has cocaine in her pussy. I'm sorry. I think on that episode, if you go back to the episode, I think it, it, that cocaine pussy comes back again, like towards the end of it. So, it, I, yeah, I think it does. It's, it's oh shit. It became a reoccurring theme for quite some time. Oh yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Now, but then I went back and made the meme. <laughs> oh, you did. No, you did. <laughs> I found an old picture of uh, Ben Carson with an afro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. But once again, like, bitch. Shit. but I ain't Say make bitch. no memes up, nigga. I ain't make no memes up, nigga. No got memes. My shit, my shit didn't get published, though. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was a joke within us, you know? <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. Nigga, nigga, hey, hey, you were my muse, nigga. <laughs> you were my muse. Damn. Oh, oh shit, shit, man. Oh, my God, I'm crying, dog. Hold on now. <laughs> now, hold on. I'm drawing the blank on the uh, the Harris on Ride. That's because you weren't you on were, it. You weren't on that episode. God damn. Uh, that's how you, that's how you would uh, ride to do when he ain't on the episode, nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, do listen, but I, I listen with me in the background, bro. I got, I got, I got ADHD, nigga. Anyway, so Harris on Ride, episode 63. We're talking about the two minute or the two hour and 30 minute mark. Go ahead and play that shit, Frank. <laughs> well, at least, you know, like, at least we didn't have a you ain't shit moment today, so. Um, well, no, not today. Not today. We, 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 we kind of flirted with it there for a second, though. Yeah, man. <laughs> I I, 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 I be flirting. I be flirting with my votes too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would flirt with both fans. What, what you What you gonna give me if I vote for you? <laughs> <laughs> Say, girl. <laughs> you looking I mighty? You, want <laughs> you looking mighty good on that ballot, girl. <laughs> oh man. Anyhow, so yeah, it's that time. It's that time. Okay. It's that time. <laughs> You know, hey, I want to thank uh, Joe and James to Jefferson to for you know, joining me on this uh, episode and Thanks, and man. safe travel to uh, the KC Stork. Um, yep. Any closer yeah, remarks to where is he at? New York. Uh, look, I'm not gonna put his thing. I'm not gonna put his location. But uh, yeah, whereabouts okay. and those, those same whereabouts and the. And the we kind of let that one run a little bit long, but yeah, uh, I was, I was go- disturbed and discombobulated by that. <laughs> uh, hold on, nigga, you was in the motherfucking clip, nigga. <laughs> hey, I can it would- neither confirm nor deny that. Go ahead, Joe. Anyway. Go ahead, hey, Joe. Man, put him on blast. You got a count, you got a count of the nigga. You got a count of saying something different. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Episode sixty three. Two minutes, thirty, two hour and thirty minutes. Hey, y'all go back and be, be the I judge. Man, 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 man. Why are you breaking up? <laughs> Why are you breaking up? Hey man, we, we we was talking we was talking about at the end of that episode we started talking about putting them on the ticket together. Here's a ride. That nigga James like who we gonna put on the top of the ticket, nigga? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> who we gonna put on top me. of the ticket? Who we gonna put on bottom? <laughs> Who's uh, on? That nigga ain't shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, but shout out, but but shout out to James and Joe for having that soothing low metal, low mellow tone. What's up, girl? Right. Hey, girl. I think I think, I think Frank's making a damn porn over there, man. <laughs> nah, that's what they fucking sounded like. I swear, Frank is on some shit tonight. I think Frank. I think Frank be pleasing himself. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga looking like he look like Buffalo Bill, motherfucking uh, <laughs> five <laughs> land, dance around. Uh, Shit, sounds of the lambs. Would you, would you fuck me? Would you fuck me? I fuck me. Put some lotion in the past. All right, hold on. Hold on. I guess it's my category. Let me get control. Let me get control. 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 All right, man. Last but not least, as far as the last nominee in the last category for 2000 motherfucking 18 in the you ain't shit award category we're talking about duck boat episode 60 at the 215 mark 
Let that shit play, Frank. Boom. Kick it. Yeah, they died. <laughs> and now they trying to act like they like a just some crates full of crackers or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I hate. I'm glad we didn't have a mental health segment on. No, nah, all right, y'all. We just laughed about niggas dying on the boat. Y'all <laughs> laugh, not me. Me and James stay quiet. <laughs> I didn't laugh. Hey, about James, James was, was like, uh, I'm not laughing. I, I this was like a mini, mini Titanic and shit. Yeah, I would, I would laugh about the concept of trying to make a fucking duck boat to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> like who the fuck? That's who the fuck was. Who the fuck right. Was that's that's when that's when the that's when the that's when the old black man jumps out. Don't do that. Well, you know what? Actually, <laughs> that ain't gonna go how you want. Right. Hey, but you so can't even I, say I, that I, now I, because I, nine of them died. I'm about to say because like it's probably like at least three old black men died. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. My bad. Jump out. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, hey, Frank, you beat me too. I'm about to say I want to say that, but you know there was at least one old black man that was like, whoa, 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 whoa. and my bad. Dude, We live now. We live. Uh, all right. That's the evidence right there. Who really set that off? Uh, James is the one who set that shit off. Go back yeah, to yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. You said that whole off. Yes. 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 L- listening I back to it. Yeah. Oh, you said it was like a mini Titanic. We can replay it if you want to. We got the tape. We got the receipts. It was a Joe, because Joe was like, yeah, man. Uh, I'm trying to picture the image of niggas building a boat. A duck boat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just tried to cook it, dog. I was just <laughs> in the background. Just, just nah, Jay, Jay, uh, James, James the one who said, nah, he's the one who brought the old nigga back out. Jay, <laughs> James said, that's when the old nigga come out and say, nah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> And uh, freight line I ain't ass. say nothing about drowning, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Hey, 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 Nah, that nigga Frank, though, man. That nigga Frank tried to throw that fucking hand grenade in there and get the fuck out of the way, man. He said, nah, you can't say that shit because nine niggas died. <laughs> and then here it comes Winston. But, and then I, right, but I didn't laugh. And then right after uh, that, right after that, here comes Winston. Everybody guilty on that episode, nigga. <laughs> Even after I said that shit, Winston was what like, you know what? There are nothing but murderers in this room. <laughs> nothing! Motherfucker Winston came in right after me. Said, "I'll oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna run this red light. Fuck it." Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no red light. Nigga, you was waving them on in. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Uh, that was like, what's that? What's that? Commer- that old commercial. Give it to Mikey. Mikey eat. <laughs> <laughs> he eat everything. That life. Everything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought everybody was guilty. Everybody hey, was guilty. I, look, hey, I love you. Okay. All I did was recognize the foolishness, nigga. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, matter, matter of fact, though, low-key, though, if you're going to have a soundboard, uh, Frank, 
right there where that nigga Joe said, you, <laughs> Roger, you ain't shit. That should be a soundboard clip, nigga. That, that's how you do a soundboard, nigga. That's, yeah. a, that's some barking dogs and shit. Gay, actually, gay, you should be doing, doing drops. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else doing drops. There you go. There you go. Shit. I will. Hey. Hey, I, nom- <laughs> I, I got a nomination, man. I nominated the fucking category be named Duck Boats. Nigga, from now on. <laughs> <laughs> in perpetuity. Because that, that kind of game. We must kinda... be assuming that Duck Boat is going to win this. Tell me it's not. That's an assumption. We have that, not taken a vote, sir. It's my fucking there. You have not voted. Cause, All right. Yeah, because cause, I mean, even if it don't win, though, that kind of gave birth to the whole you ain't shit thing. Yeah. Like, we, 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 we went back in hindsight and be like, wait a minute. Let's find other fucking references where niggas wasn't shit. No, hold on. <laughs> Does Doug Boat win? Let's decide that first. All right, Roger, go ahead and go around the room, man. I'm going to go around the room, man. So I'm going to uh, – usually we start from uh, everyone else. So I'm going to start with Frank, man. So, Frank, who you got between uh, Cocaine Pussies, Harris on Ryan, and Duck Boats, pimp? <laughs> I got to go Duck Boats. Everybody was in on it. I got one for Duck Boats. Ten meters, who you got? <laughs> cocaine Pussies, Harris on Ryan, Duck Boats. Hands down, Duck Boats. <laughs> Hands down. I kind of know what Joe going, so I'm going to go with James. James. All right. The other half of the twin, <laughs> say, twin brother darknesses. <laughs> if we would have played the right clip from Harris on Ride, I thought it might have been a contender. Yeah. But since we didn't even play the right section of it, I got to go with Duck Boat. Okay, you gotta well, do I mean, homework. You gotta do homework. Way, but I still want to hear. I, I still want to hear what Joe got to say. Joe, I put, this, got... I, I, I put it this way, man. Uh, that was episode sixty. Yeah. This is, this is episode seventy-one. Yeah. It ain't been an episode since episode sixty where we ain't said duck boats at one time or another, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even on episode sixty-three. Go back and do the math, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker, hey, that, that, that's, in the, that's in our lexicon, nigga. I mean, like, 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 like you said, them other shows, they got their little things, they talk about one to ten, or, or, or you know what I'm saying, just, just fucking with black people, whatever, nigga. This, this is our shit. Nigga, this is the duck boat moment, nigga. This need to be canonized as the duck boat award, nigga. Yeah, duck, yeah. duck boat is our, like, problematic light, basically. Like, we just start yelling duck boats, duck boats. Before yeah, we, before nigga, we jump in, that's our that's our safe word, nigga. Yeah. Duck, duck <laughs> oh, I, I mean, oh. and for me though, like, because like the cocaine pussy episode forty one, you look around it. That's kind of like where uh, Joe Jeff started coming in a little more regularly, and after that we started getting James in and Timmy just came in. So I kind of like cocaine pussy because it kind of like gave me the idea like we we all me and Frank already knew we needed more niggas on the show. But uh, it kind of like really like if we had more niggas on the show, it'd be just it'd be better, it'd be fair, it'd be it'd be more insightful. Like if you look at it, that's kind of like after that niggas became more a part of the show. But of course, I mean, yeah, I mean, because everybody was in on it, everybody was cooking, dog. That's both. <laughs> that episode, man. And the winner is. <laughs> and the winner is Duck Boats by Landslide. There yeah. we go. So, 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 so on my motion, we gonna rename the category. Yeah, I like it. I like it, man. The Duck Boat Award, dog. Duck Boat, Duck Award. Boat Award. Shout out to the old black man that had to die for it to be. For it to be. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> my here we go. God damn! Here we go. Oh, and, la- and ladies and gentlemen, that was our first annual uh, award show. Of the Nigga Rogan podcast. Hey, 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 you, hey, you did something. You did something that, that James did the right thing. You said, but you didn't say inaugural. You said the, well, a lot of niggas do say the first annual. Mm-hmm. It's inaugural. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. <clears throat> but it's also annual. Well, not the first annual, but like not yet. Sure. Not yet, though. Not, not, Okay. It's planned. It's planned. Well, I, 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 I did say hopefully the first annual. Oh, but I didn't hear that. Inaugural. 
No, it's a pet peeve of mine. Oh my so. god, that here we go, dog. That's gonna lead into I'm another not, episode. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, not, it's, not you, it's not you, Frank. It's, it's it's a pet peeve of mine. The niggas do. I, I'm, I'm bilingual. I buy. I'm, I'm bilingual. And I blame that. My language is, you know, barrier. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't going for that. It's a pet peeve of mine. The niggas do, and I be like, you mean inaugural? They be like, no, it's the first annual. I'm like, okay, that's the first thing. Okay, cool. <laughs> the first one is the inaugural. The second one is the annual. Yes, I, th- I think they're synonymous, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's the end of the the award show. Now we're just gonna close out the the episode plus the year. Uh, so we're gonna go around the room real quick. You know, kind of what you, you know, any any final thoughts of the year since this is the last yeah. the last episode well, too. Keep it under two minutes for Frank. Hey man, thank you guys. Uh, we put on a lot of episodes. Um, I thank you guys for coming on, contributing. Um, we have something to build on. Hopefully, um, we can continue it. Um, again, thank you guys. Thank you, listeners. Thank you, Roger, for the support and everything. Um, and I'll see you guys next year. Uh, Feliz Año Nuevo. All right. Uh, Tim me just hit it up, pimp. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the podcast. Um, it's been a real enjoyable experience. Um, I would like to continue this with you guys. You know, uh, um, it's been a pleasure meeting uh, different minds, mindsets on different subjects and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm really glad and kind of proud to be a part of this. So um, I hope we can continue this on into 2019 and beyond. See y'all next year. Thanks, pimp. All right, uh, James, big James. Yo, yeah, uh, I like to say also I appreciate being invited onto the podcast. Uh, it's been uh, it's been quite the experience, good times. Some uh, it's been it's been good, it's been bad, it's been ugly, you know. But that's all right, you know. But it's all it's it's uh, been it's been rewarding. It kind of keeps me uh, uh abreast of current events, you know. I kind of keep my eye on everything, you know. So it keeps me sharp in that way. So I have something to say when I come on the podcast. And uh, uh, 2008 has been quite the year. It's been a, it's been a it's been a hell of a year, man. It's been good. It's been bad. It's been ugly too. But uh, we made it. Uh, we're right on the doorstep of 2019, and looking forward to bigger and better things from there. Happy New Year. Indeed, indeed. Joe Jeff. Uh, this has been. <clears throat> It's been uh, cathartic for me, man. It's a, this is my therapy. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we, we, as you saw in the uh, in the show, we go through a range of emotions, man. We uh, we we laugh, we cry, we uh, we argue. You know what I'm saying? We throw our mic down when we get muted, nigga. We do all this shit, you know. What I'm so I think it's, it's it's a good way for us to kind of bond. Uh, Frank was gracious enough to receive me at his house. I I, I made a new friend. Uh, through the podcast, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Anthony as well. I haven't, you know, met him yet, but, you know, I feel like I know him better through the, through the podcast. So uh, it's been good to basically have an activity, I think, being myself, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate it. I listen to it regularly. You know, sometimes I fall asleep to the podcast, you know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, it's definitely a highlight of my 2018. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And then uh, for me, Casey Stort, once again, man, thank everybody, man. Thank every, all the, uh, the fans, listeners, however few, however many we have. Thank all all four of you brothers for giving your time, man, every Friday coming on here. Because, I mean, I know it's a big commitment, and people don't see the commitment that we put in throughout the week as far as, like, gathering information, shows, and bouncing ideas off each other. And we all touched on the two, man, you know, still sharp and still, man. Y'all have kept me as far as, like, questioning myself, how I think about uh, life and the process of it, man. So I really appreciate it, and I hope we continue forward 2019. Frank, thanks for everything, man, as far as, like, shit. Fuck, four years ago, three years ago, man, we talked about this shit, man, getting it started, man. So I appreciate me and you putting in the groundwork in. But without these other three brothers, man, it, it wouldn't be as good as it is right now. Uh, so, yeah, man, just, like, Thank everybody, man. I really, I really appreciate the time and the love and the effort y'all give, man. Because we can, we can get on here and just talk about bullshit, not prepared. 
But every time we get on here, everybody prepared and everybody got a, got their piece to say. Whether we agree or don't agree, we all friends, we all brothers, and we all love each other. Man. So I appreciate y'all, man, 100. And, man, just bigger and better things 2019, man. Yeah, we got an award show because of you guys now. That I mean, honestly, that's 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 real big though. We we get we got to this point because of you guys. Um, and I'm talking to Anthony, James, and Joe. I mean Show, show, for it really sure, is sure. though. And, and and everybody else that has spouses or loved ones, you know, Friday nights has been a consistent season now. So just like in the military, the spouses get love. In this case, spouses, your loved ones get love though, because that's this is time away from them. So, indeed, indeed, uh, and, we're, and we're not getting paid for this neither. So, so That's, fuck, this might be our short show. Maybe we should just have a war show every Friday. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we did skip the intros. Nigga. That that did help. Yeah, Woo. The the, intros, hey, you know that these is a Merrill. They don't do the AKAs anymore at the beginning. They, at not beginning, but at the end, they do. Yeah, but them shits All are right. like thirty minutes long now. Hey, but yeah. But I, I I got I got I got uh ADA waiting for on the phone call, so I'm I'm gonna give up out this piece. All right, Holla. folks. This has been the Nicaraguan Podcast Award Show. Hold on, hold on, See you guys hold on. on the Oh hold on, is that my part? Um, I, mm. Mm. I took that long dramatic pause. I, I didn't know what you was gonna yeah, do. Yeah, I know. I was, I'm like, you was getting ready to drop off right That's, now. No, I, I, I was I, I, I was gonna I, look I, out. I was about to say anybody got anything else to say. I thought you about to drop everything. Today. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm out. You right. You right. My bad. My bad. I was going to drop off, but I was doing I was it, reading man. the crowd, though. I'm like. Hey, my bad. My bad. So once again, man, we are the Nigga Rockin' Podcast. I send the Connect 10 meters. The Twin Brothers of Doom. 30 Pieces of AG. I'm the KC Stork. Thank you for your time. And as always, enjoy the. See you in 2019. Enjoy the music. Please, please.